In this circuit analysis of a series parallel circuit, I will demonstrate how I will show you the steps used in finding the currents and the voltages, the currents in and the voltage across each resistor in the circuit. Now, first step. The first step is to find the total resistance of the circuit. Now, the total resistance of the circuit would be R1 added to R2 and R3 in parallel. So we can write we can write our total is equal equals R1 plus R2 in parallel with R3, and we can put it in brackets, right? So the total resistance is R1 plus R2 in parallel with R3. So let's put in the actual values now. The total resistance RT is equal to equals 4 ohms plus 3 ohms in parallel with 6 3 ohms in parallel with 6 ohm this equals 4 ohms plus 3 by 6 divided by 3 plus 6 ohm equals 4 ohms plus 18 over 9 ohm which is 4 ohm plus 2 ohm which is equal to 6 ohms so the total the total resistance of the circuit is 6 ohms that's step number one the second step is to find the total current supplied by the source which would also be the current in r1 so we can write I total, which is also equals to I R1 is equal to the V supply divided by the R total, which in this case is equal to 18 volts divided by 6 ohms equals to 3 amperes. Okay? So the total current is three amperes. The third step is to find the voltage across R1. So using Ohm's law, we can find the voltage across R1. So we can write that the V R1 equals I R1 times R1 not equals 3 amperes times 4 amperes that's equals to 12 volts. Right. So that's the third step. The fourth step is to find the voltage across the parallel resistors. The voltage across the parallel resistor would be the supply voltage minus the voltage across R1. So we can write that V R V R2 would be equal to V. R3 because they are in parallel. Since they are in parallel, the voltage across the two is the same. 
that is equals to the V supply minus V R1. That works out to 18 volts minus 12 volts equal 6 volts. So the VR2 equals VR3 is 6 volts. That was step number 4. Now the final step, number 5, is to find the currents. And you would simply use you would simply use Ohm's law to calculate the current in each uh, resistor. So I'm going to make some space here on the board. So IR1, IR1 equals to VR1 divided by R1 that would equal to that would equal VR1. We said VR1 was 12 volts. 12 volts divided by 4 ohms equals to 3 amperes. Right? Then IR2 equal VR2 divided by R2, VR2 is 6 volts, divided by 3 ohms, equal 2 amperes. And finally, IR3, um, I'm going to use a space up here on the board. I R3 equals V R3 divided by R3 equals V R3 6 volts divided by 6 ohms equal 1 ampere. Okay, so um, we can check our results. Let's re let's review. We found out that the total current IT, which is also the current in R1, is 3 amperes. So 3 amperes flowing in the C in this, this flowing through R1. Then the current branches, and uh, the larger current will flow through the smaller resistor. So we see that IR2 from calculation takes 2 amperes. So we have two amps through R2, and this R3 takes one amp. And we have found out that there was three amps flowing here. So we can see that the circuit or base Kirchhoff's current law that states that the current flowing into a junk into a node must be because of that going out. So we have three amps flowing into this node, two amps to R2, one amp to R3, two plus one equals three. So we, it, um, the circuit obeys Kirchhoff's current law. Okay. So, so then to recap, then we, we found the, we, the first step was to find RT, the total resistance. Right? Uh, having found the total resistance, which we, we worked out at 6 ohms, the next step was to find the total current, right? Which we worked out at 3 amps. Then we found the voltage across R1 as 12 volts. Then we found the voltage across R2 and R3, which will be the same because they are in parallel. And that happens to be 18 volts, the supply voltage minus the voltage across R1. That came up to 6 volts. And having found all the voltages, we can then use Ohm's law to find the, volt, the current through each resistor. So the current through R1 will be the 
the vote across R1 divided by R1. In that case, our vote across R1 was 12 votes divided by four ohms give three amps. The current in R2, VR2 divided by R2, six volts divided by three give two amps. And the current in R3, VR3 divided by R3, six volts divided by six ohms gives one ampere.